Hi everybody, just a quick video today to look at a tool within Civil 3D. And well, actually it's not really a tool as much as it's a customization. We're gonna look at customizing tool tips today. And it's also not something that's applicable to only Civil 3D. It's something that we can do in any of the AutoCAD based applications. Now, the reason we're talking about custom tool tips today is because I put out a video last week where we talked about a tool within the Express Tools. That tool being VP Scale. If I come down and look at layout here, we look at VP scale. It's a command that we can run that when the command is run, I can uh, select a particular viewport and it will tell me the, uh, the scale of the viewport. Now, that being said, I had uh, several folks take and contact me to say, hey, that tool really isn't necessary anymore because in the AutoCAD world, if I select a viewport, it's immediately going to display that for us down here in the bottom of the interface. And not only does it display it, it gives us the opportunity we could change it. We could also do things like lock the viewport and more. So I would agree 100% using uh, the interface down here at the bottom, it does kind of negate the need for the command VP scale. Now, having said that, in the blog post that I made when I originally posted that video, I had said, hey, wouldn't it be great if I could gather that information just by, you know, through a tooltip? Because the tooltips in an AutoCAD or a Civil 3D world give us a lot of valuable information, but it doesn't always give us maybe all of the information we would like to use. For example, if I hover over a viewport, it would be kind of nice if it would give me the plot scale in that in addition to color layer line type. Another example. I've got a block up here at the top. I hover over that. It tells me it's a block reference, color layer, line type, but it doesn't give me the block name. Um, sometimes I would be required to like drill into properties or go elsewhere to find the other information I would like to get. And if I could get it from the tooltip, that would be great. So uh, today we're going to look at creating custom tooltips so I can give you yet one more way to get a plottable scale from our viewports, as well as maybe some additional information about AutoCAD geometry and even Civil 3D um, components or objects using tooltips. So to do this, I'm gonna type in CUI to bring up the custom user interface dialog within Civil 3D. I'm currently using the Civil menu, so all things that are currently displayed up here at the top are relevant to that particular menu because the area that I'm interested in is, is gathering information about AutoCAD related objects. I'm going to come down to the area here for the partial customization files and I'm going to expand that. Once that's expanded it gives me a listing of all of the other custom menus that have been attached to my civil menu so that I could drill into parameters for each one of those as required based on the particular menu or module that's been installed. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to expand AutoCAD and then I'm going to come down underneath that. I'm going to select Rollover Tooltips, and it gives me a listing of all of the geometry within AutoCAD that's currently set up to display tooltips. And if I select one of those pieces of geometry, it will show me the tooltips that are currently checked to be displayed. So um, we look at Viewport. It tells me that it's going to give me the general information, color layer, line type. What I'm going to do is come down. What might be helpful for me in a tooltip? would be to show whether or not the viewport is locked and then also to give me the standard scale. So if we check those, we'll get that information. Maybe let's come up now and look at a block reference. By default, that's going to give us um, color layer line type. You see, I could expand it to include other information like attributes or uh, other, other data about that particular block, maybe if it's been scaled or what its rotation is. For right now, what would be helpful for me is to check the box that will tell me what the block's name, what the block's name is. So we'll select that, click on OK. Once done, what I could do now is if I hover over a particular viewport boundary, we see the viewport boundary or the viewport itself now tells us the object name um, that's viewport, color layer, line type. It tells me the display locked is currently no. And the standard scale, it's got, having a little trouble giving me the double quotes to say one inch equals 50, but it's enough information that I know that that's what it means. I can now gather the information without actually selecting it. Now, in this particular case, I would like to have this viewport locked. So I'm going to select this and then come down to the interface that was uh, mentioned in my comments before. We'll go ahead and we can lock that so that that's locked moving forward in the future. We'll come up, hover over another one. We see that that one says uh, display locked is no. So I'm going to lock that one as well. And it says the standard scale is custom. When it reads custom, it means it's not to scale in most cases. 
I'd like to see something like 1 inch equals 50 or something like that, depending on the scale that I'd, I'd like to use when it plots. Because all of these viewports should be 1 to 50, we'll go ahead and update that using the same approach we just looked at before. We'll take and set this to 1 inch equals 50 feet, and we will lock this viewport as well. Last thing that we'll do is we'll come up and hover over the tooltip for my block reference. We now see that it is a block, it's color layer line type information, and the name of this block is arrow 6. All right, so using the CUI approach, we can go through, we can customize our tooltips to add this extra information. Let me show you one more thing. We looked at the area where we could add this to AutoCAD objects, but this is not exclusive to AutoCAD objects. We can also do it with our civil components as well. Coming back into the menu and looking underneath the civil area here at the top that's uh, set up for the civil environment, I'm going to come down to Rollover Tooltips. You can see here are all the civil uh, objects that it's set up for our tooltips currently. So for example, like an alignment, if I select that, the tooltip is showing me the style it's been set, the name of the alignment, the layer that it's been placed on. But I can also add other tooltips to show me if a design speed has been applied, maybe the length. Uh, the site that it's currently contained in, uh, other information, uh, Kogo points. It's showing me the name, point number, uh, style, layer, other data that we can take and pull as well, um, whether or not the points have been locked, um, scale information, uh, you know, tons of tons of data that's available for us as well. Uh, maybe on a corridor, by default, you know, name, style, code set style, if other information, whether a color line type, um, if any hyperlink or whatever has been applied, we could add that too. Okay, so using uh, custom tooltips, if we don't get the information for our objects that uh, we would like by default, we can always customize a tooltip to further extend that information to make it a little bit easier for us as we move around our model to, to gather that information without having to maybe run additional tools. So with that, I hope this has been helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.